Star Wars The Acolyte will take the audience into a world of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers. And one of those emerging dark side powers will be Darth Plagueis' ability to influence midi-chlorians and create life. Hey guys, what's going on? We were first introduced to Darth Plagueis in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? When Chancellor Palpatine used the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise to manipulate a young Anakin Skywalker and entice him with unnatural dark side powers in order to save his wife, Padme Amidala. He could use the Force to influence the midi-chlorians to create life. He had such a knowledge of the dark side, he could even keep the ones he cared about from dying. However, outside of Legends, very little else is known about the Dark Lord, who was master to Darth Sidious. One thing that is for certain though, is that he was extremely powerful, and could in fact manipulate midichlorians and create life. Indeed, he could keep the ones he cared about from dying. But how did he learn this ability, and why? Well, in Star Wars The Acolyte, we will see the beginnings of this power and why he was so motivated to study and understand the Force. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe for more Star Wars content. Also, this is just a theory, I don't have any insider knowledge obviously, so... This is just one of the possibilities of something that I think we could see in The Acolyte. Now, let's get into today's video. Darth Plagueis' motivations for learning to create life are still yet to be explored in canon, but in Legends, they are clear. Darth Plagueis hated Bane's Rule of Two, even going so far as to kill his master, Darth Tenebrous, without having a Sith apprentice to take his place and carry on the Rule of Two. He felt that it was useless to have an apprentice at his side, someone who would be constantly looking to usurp his place and take on the title of Dark Lord for themselves. He wanted nothing to do with it, but instead he was more interested in extending his own life so that he could eventually rule the galaxy forever as the one true Dark Lord of the Sith. I think the show will start off with Plagueis and will eventually lead to him discovering an extremely powerful young Jedi whom he sees as simply a tool to further his own research and exploration of the Force. And this will be the premise of the show, hence the reason why we're going to go into a world of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers. This young Jedi will be the main character. And because Plagueis will not want her to have any ideas of usurping power over him, he will never promote her past the rank of Acolyte, never making her an official Sith, hence the reason why the show will be called The Acolyte. In the show, the two will go on and they will delve deep into Sith lore and prophecy and tradition. They will visit places like Korriban, the ancient homeworld of the Sith. They will explore the tombs and ruins of that old civilization in hopes that they can discover some ancient Sith secret. They will seek out knowledge from the Night Sisters on Dothamir, where they could possibly speak with Mother Talzin, who will still be alive during this time as well. I actually think it would be really cool to see Mother Talzin and the whole Night Sister religion and civilization in live action. You know, we've seen them in the Clone Wars and then again in Jedi Fallen Order, but to see them in live action I think would be pretty awesome. They may even go to Exegol, and this way it would tie in the Acolyte with the sequel trilogy and perhaps give us some insight as to how Palpatine returned through the process known as Essence Transfer. Perhaps we could see that sort of power begin to emerge and Plagueis would discover and use that power himself. Who knows? Honestly, there's so much that they can do with this. They will go to the farthest reaches of the galaxy in order to discover this emerging dark side power to create and expand life through manipulation of the Force. As they go throughout the galaxy, Plagueis and his acolyte will grow close and begin to rely on one another. Plagueis will notice how attuned to the Force that she is and will begin to train her in more ancient and powerful Sith teachings, instead of just keeping her as a lowly kind of acolyte slash assistant. He will instruct her in Sith tradition and she will fall further and further into the dark. I honestly think that Leslie Headland is going to be perfect for the show just because of, you know, her 
her unique background. Um, but Darth Plagueis will not bestow her the rank of Sith and will keep her as an acolyte. Now this will cause a rift in their relationship as she desires to become his official Sith apprentice. Plagueis will tell her about the rule of two and how once she becomes his apprentice, then the only way out of it would be death. Either his death by her hand and she would assume the title of Dark Lord, or her death and she would finally be free from the dark side. He will say that for both of their safety, he will not promote her to a fully fledged Sith as he values her too much. Now this is interesting because it will open the door for her character to survive well into the Skywalker Saga. Technically, she is not a Sith, but just a very powerful dark side user, so there would be no need for her to be hunted down and destroyed by the Chosen One in order to bring balance. This could also be a way for her to survive and perhaps be an advisor to Darth Sidious all throughout his life that perhaps she will move past her desire for domination and control, and much like Plagueis, will only care for the dark side of the Force and its power. This way she can kind of be behind the scenes, only focusing on the Force itself, and leave the whole domination and manipulation and everything to Palpatine, who is the true Dark Lord of the Sith. There's literally so much that they can do with this show. Anyway. So, the two will go on and dive deeper and deeper into the darkness, and eventually they will begin to discover and manipulate life. They will start off small and eventually work their way up to actual manipulation of midichlorians. We will get to see the dark side in a way that we have never seen it before, and this manipulation could possibly lead to their discovery with the Chosen One prophecy and Plagueis' obsession with it. Star Wars The Acolyte has said that it will take the audience into a world of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers, and I honestly hope that they do. I am hoping that they delve deep into Sith lore and show us these emerging dark side powers, especially if that means that we get to see Darth Plagueis discovering a way to create life, or at least the beginnings of it. You know, I would really hate for this show just to be about you know, some spy thriller type thing, Coruscant Underworld, you know, both of those sound really cool, but I really want this show to delve deep into Sith lore and tradition and, you know, the dark side, because, you know, we really haven't gotten a real in-depth look at that, at least in canon. Now, this could lead to so many things, and the Acolyte has the chance to literally set up the events of the entire Skywalker saga. I hope that the showrunners realize this, and they accept and take responsibility for the massive burden that it is. I mean, this is literally the prequel to everything, so I hope they take advantage of this and give us a great Star Wars show and, you know, don't screw it up trying to do other stuff. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I'm really excited about The Acolyte and I'm hoping that it's really good. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more Star Wars content. And remember to forever be a Star Wars fan.